Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently very very close here to getting all of this taken care of. Now we still need a plan to get this tribal hold converted over. She has a hook on us which is a little bit unfortunate and she is allied to us. She's going to die soon. Hmm. He would leave to become a wanderer. We have a 0% chance of that. I'm just thinking about how we might try to pull this off. Now, this county is good to go for now. We're not very interested in fully upgrading that. This county is good to go as well. But we just got this county over here, right? And that's kind of our top priority for upgrades for the moment. That's for sure. We have low county control in Marrakesh. Hang on. That's definitely something we should work on. I did not realize that. There we go. Problem solved there. And we need to upgrade our castles as well. So we have plenty to spend cash on. No doubt about that. I do want to figure out how we want to do this. Now, I'm not going to actually change anything here. Let's just swap on over to this character here. And she's not actually independent here. It's just the country view is a little bit weird because we're now a vassal here. But if we were to come in here and feudalize this tribe, yeah, I just wanted to double check that it's 500 gold for her as well. So we're going to switch back to our main character. Cool. So that's absolutely fine. I'm just checking in on how long before these finish up. And the answer is a while. So that's okay. Sure, we'll attend this guy's feast. And this is all good to go. So all we need is to build a city here and holdings in this castle. Once that becomes a castle instead of a tribe, as well as this over this way. We can hold court. I'm not going to for now. I'm just going to actually get rid of that. There we go. And all of these castles up over here, they all need to be upgraded. Now, what does that upgrade actually get us right now? Well, it does get us a tax increase. So let's do it. Let's get that started. And we have a bunch of those that we need to get done. No doubt about that. We want to get every castle in our territory upgraded. And in order to get the cities upgraded, those are going to require manorialism, which we are working on. But we're a long ways away from that. We're currently 32 years away from that one. I do not want to pay this guy additional gold. Okay, so we'll need a new steward. That will be this guy. Our gardener left our court. And our wife was murdered. We actually knew that she was going to be murdered. That caused our domain limit to drop, even though it wasn't... Oh, that was our primary spouse. She just got promoted up. Got it. Okay, we'll marry her for her fantastic stewardship skill. There we go. And then we'll make her our primary spouse. Cool. And now let's make sure that she is managing domain. We'll just have to let that update. There we go. All is good. Fantastic. Okay. Down over this direction, I'm checking in on how long it will take to actually get these uh, constructions done. We've still got a little bit of time. Cool. And how much gold does she have? 196. I really want to see this feudalized. Hmm. She's using up her hook here. And that's fine. Whatever. She can do that. I mean, there's nothing we can do to stop her. She's using her hook for that. So that's completely fine. We increased our county control. I do want to check in. Do we need to do faith conversions? The answer is yeah, we do. And we'll get that going. We should also promote culture over this direction for now would be fine. Cool. So we're primarily focused this game on our internal structure, right? That's part of the point of a PAX series is that we're not focused on expansion. We're focused on making sure that all of the holdings that we have are reasonably optimal. They don't have to be perfect, but reasonably optimal. And expansion will just kind of happen. So that's okay. 
We're going to be finishing up this pasture very, very shortly. Also, our heir is currently unmarried. Let's give him someone with high stewardship. There we go. We lose 30 stress. Always good. And pastures will finish up here. It'll have to be camelry. Not necessarily ideal there. Did that actually go? No, it didn't. Okay. Cool. Cool. So I'll put that in, and how long on the rest of these constructions? The answer is a while yet. Cool. So with that being the case, we can come up over this way and work on a castle upgrade in our capital. There we go. I would like to eventually pull back some of these sheikdoms. We need four additional domain limit for that. I mean, I believe we calculated that ultimately we need 18. It's a lot. It's a whole lot. This we don't want to hold. So we'll grant that on out. Although we did inherit this trinket. Which we should definitely equip. We also inherited this trinket. Anything else? No. So that's completely fine. We'll grab Avaricious here bringing us up to 37.2 gold per month. That's solid. Absolutely solid. But we need more. We absolutely need more. How long until we can sell trivial titles or extort subjects? A couple of years. Okay. That's completely fine. This will be done in six months. And four months on these guild halls. So I think that we should probably construct here next. And not spend our money on a castle upgrade at this exact moment. We can get the castle upgrade going after we get these upgrades done. Just to be on the safe side and make sure that we're not having these empty building slots for too long. So we're going to spam constructing these pastoral lands as soon as we can. We've got about 45 days left here. Cool. Now this guy became our marshal with his hook. What skill is he? Skill six. Disgusting. Okay. Good thing we don't really care too much. Okay. 20 days on those guild halls. Let's get these pastoral lands going. There we go. Cool. Next up will be pastoral lands up here. There we go. And then 11 months here and... Two years there. Sure. So at this point, we should definitely work on upgrading additional castles. We've got these two castles that we personally hold yet. Oh, we can have up to eight domain now. Cool. So if we were to pull back this one, he would accept that. Done. Now we do have to grant out this mosque, but that's fine. Fantastic. So we still have a couple more castles to upgrade here, and we'll get this one going. Those do take a while to upgrade. No doubt about that. How long on Burrs? 13 years. Okay. So we're not going to have any building upgrades for a while yet, but we can definitely get all these castle upgrades going. There's a lot of them to do still in our personal holdings. So in our personal holdings, we've got one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, I think. I don't think I counted this one. So, like, eleven more holdings there. That's a lot of upgrades. No doubt about that. We've got four months left on this city. And that's definitely going to be the next thing that we purchase. Almost certainly. Yeah, that should be the next thing. Cool. So this is proceeding nicely. No doubt about that. We've got 30 days left on our city construction here. Agriculture will definitely be what we put in. So desert agriculture here. 100%. Next up, we want additional upgrades on the castles that we personally hold. So probably Sala will be the next one. I don't want to grant this. I want to upgrade it. There we go. 
So 72 more gold. So like two more months. Sounds good. Our Cork Ranger level increased. That's nice. One more month tick at this point until we get Sala upgrading. And there we go. Beautiful. So, have you upgraded this for, to a tribal hold yet? Or from a tribal hold? No. You're at 290 gold, making 2.9 gold per month. Okay, fair enough. I mean, you've got all the building slots, so you've got the building blocks to get that economy very strong. We'll take this guy's 50 gold. Absolutely. And I don't want to grant this. I want to upgrade this. 385 gold. Why am I defaulting over to grant when I want to upgrade? That's very strange. 215 more gold is what we need to get that done. And that will be all of the castles that we personally hold upgrading. And they're going to start start finishing soon. That's a, a weird phrase. But they're going to start finishing soon. We're definitely going to take cutting cornerstones. And we could demand a payment from this guy. Not that he has the money. Or really much income. So we're not really going to do that. But I am going to get this upgrade going in the next month tick. Any moment now. There we go. Cool. We can sell our trivial titles, which we will definitely do. How dare you shame me so. And what are we going to spend the, that cash on? So we do have these finishing up shortly. This is good to go. And this is good to go as well. So we just need this camel to finish and we'll just put in outposts here. There we go. We have more keeps finishing and the small plantations have 10 months on them. So I think that we should definitely... Do we just inherit something? Yes. This holding. We'll grant that back out. There we go. And we lost our spy master as well. So we'll put this guy in. And we need to just start working on upgrading the castles in our personal dungeon. We're not going to do too much focus outside of this at this time. We need to get all of our gold spent on our personal duchy because that's a bit more efficient. So that'll be great. And over here with our duchy building, we need burrs and manorialism to get those duchy buildings going. Of course, both of those are being worked on. 12 years and 27 years, respectively. So that'll be fine. And we'll be able to extort our subjects soon as well, which will get us another couple of castle upgrades. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, they even live by my mercy alone. Cool. So we'll get this castle upgraded. Fantastic. Checking in over here. The only thing that we need to be concerned about in this county at this point is this city holding. So we need to put in guilds for our next construction. And we'll do that right now. So here in just a couple of days, this will be ready to go. Just spamming on guild halls. Sure, we'll attend this guy's feast. Cool. Uh, I, I just hit C by default. Apparently that's not the hotkey in Crusader Kings. Fantastic. <laughs> cool. Okay, so guilds is now building. A hearty diet looks good to me. And then the last thing that we're going to need over here is pastoral lands. But that will be three years before that's ready to go. Checking in over here, this is still a tribal hold. Oh, uh, this inheritance happened. Noted. 18% chance of acceptance. Let's go ahead and sway this guy. We'll give it back to him after, we're, after he's done there. Or after we're done with this. But uh, just checking in. Yeah, this should be a viable thing. So we'll start to work on swaying him. That's great. These two are constructing. This one needs to be leveling up. So that'll take a little bit more gold. Farewell, my spy master. We also have a court event here. We'll try to take advantage of his generosity. Unfortunately, it didn't work. That makes me very, very sad. And of course, we just sold our trivial titles and extorted subjects. So it'll be a while before that comes in. 
But this castle upgrade will be good to go in just two months here. So that's great. One more month. And there we go. Okay, so what else do we need to upgrade over here in this duchy? These are all level two. So our economic duchy is now fully upgraded. Excellent. Of course, our military duchy has a lot more castles, and so that'll be more expensive. Like, look at all these castles. We are upgrading here. This keep needs to be built eventually. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more upgrades. Got it. That's going to be quite a lot of gold. She brings in 50 gold. I love it. Two gold and five gold. Neither of those are good. Okay. So these pastoral lands will be ready to build in about two years. That buys us a decent amount of time to get these castles upgraded. We're going to go for... Hello, pause menu. We're going to go for this one next. And we need only 65 gold for that. So that'll be great. We'll have that done next month, Dick. We're now making 42.4 per month. Not too bad. And there we go. So we now need one, two, three, four, five, and six. Cool. We'll get these two upgrading first because these are all in a cluster together. We can grab a perk here for professional workforce. That'll make those constructions happen faster. So that's always great. And just checking in over here, this guy's now at minus 44 opinion of us because he wants a seat on the council. Actually, we could put him in our llama role. He's not very good at it, but I don't actually care. That brings his opinion up to plus six. He wants an alliance as a powerful clan vassal. But if we did that, then we can't revoke the title. So there's not a huge amount of point to doing that. Okay. So we need like 800 gold before we do that. I think we just leave this way as a like long-term scheme for the moment. Okay, we just became friends with this guy up here. He'll not accept a uh, vassalage offer because we're of a different faith. Fair enough. Okay, so each of these are going to cost 467 to upgrade. It's a lot of gold that we need at, at this point. Our hook here will soon expire. This doesn't really help us in any way. She's our wife. So I don't really care about that hook. We did just inherit a thing. And what is this? Oh, that's this over here. So we're going to grant that right on back out. We do not need that. We can get an upgrade going, and we will certainly do so. Cool. Unfortunately, we went up a level of stress. But actually, that's not the worst thing, because that will increase our income. So for the moment, that's actually not bad. We'll drop our stress level slightly. I keep hoping that this guy will... He, he just doesn't have the gold to do it. And our level of stress goes down. Hilarious. Well, we got maybe like one tick out of that. Maybe. Maybe one tick out of that. So we've got nine months on these guild halls. I don't think that we can quite get away with another castle upgrade before we get that last construction going. So that's definitely a concern. We've got five castle upgrades to do over here, and I'm not concerned about upgrading like this. These guys can upgrade their own castles. I just wanted to make sure that we have them set up the way we wanted them. So we've got the keep in Sala. That's great. And we're making about 45 gold per month now. It's decent. Not perfect, but it's decent. We're going to go for pastoral lands as soon as we can here. 
three months left at 45 gold per month. That'd be like 135 gold over what we have right now. I can justify this exaction. And that means that we go up a stress level and therefore are making more money. And that also means that we can upgrade this castle guaranteed and have enough gold to construct here. Beautiful. 50 days left on these guild halls. And this is our final construction down this way. So that'll be done in 10 days. And I'm just going to spam construction of the pastoral lands. There we go. Beautiful. This guy has 468 gold. We'll debase the coinage. Cool. That's another 300 gold. That, of course, means that we can construct here. And then we have three more castles to upgrade. Beautiful. Once we're done with that, or actually we have this court event here. I will not allow a court to rummage through. Let's see if he wakes us up in the night. Sure, show this guy in with his 50 gold. Cool. Looks like the cult just left. So that's great. I want to check in on our succession quick. Yikes. Okay. Noted on the yikes. Definitely noted on the yikes. So this guy's got 479 gold right now. Okay. So another five months or so? No, like eight months. And he'll have 500 gold. I'm hoping that he'll convert that over and we won't have to revoke the title. That would be nice. We'll see how realistic that is. Let's grab centralization here. Just checking in on these guys. And I also want to check in on our control here. We're actually not going to hire the physician, for the record. Both of them failed to impress me. Okay, why did we drop in our domain limit there? What just changed? Something changed. And it said our wife has typhus. Got it. She is near death. So we're going to let her die. And we'll find a new stewardship wife. We need one with at least 22 stewardship. Actually, she died right there. So we need one with at least 22 stewardship. Unfortunately, 21 is the best we've got. Maybe we get a rounding error out of it? Maybe. We do not. That is sad. Okay. Oh, no, we did get a rounding error. We went back up to eight of eight. Perfect. So that's perfect. I'm very, very happy about that then. That is absolutely excellent. We're no longer obese, and that's great as well. We'll go ahead and construct this keep. We now only need to construct two additional keeps. And I'm very, very pleased by that. So this keep, we need 297 more gold. Okay. I want to check in down over here. So he's not upgraded this yet. He does have the cash. So fingers crossed that he does. If he doesn't, though, we will revoke it and do it ourselves. We're up to a 73% chance of him accepting this. And I'm completely fine continuing to run this scheme. We don't have the cash to actually get that all done right away, right now. So, that's okay. Farewell, my vassal. So we lost a bunch of stress there. We can sell trivial titles. Consider it done. And that will immediately mean... Ooh, another 500 gold. That was just a 1,000 gold we got out of that. Which means that we can upgrade both of these castles instantly. That's huge. Really, really big. Once again, he has the gold. He's just not doing it. We'll have to manually do it. 81% chance of acceptance. I'm not willing to risk that just yet. 
We've got about six months until we finish up this sway segment, and that should do the trick. So we'll put this guy in as our steward. Cool. We did just finish a faith conversion. And let's continue working up over this way. Would you convert? 25% chance. I'll roll it. It probably won't happen. He wants a hook. Done. That's actually kind of worthwhile. We can upgrade our tower houses over here, which is funny, but I'm not going to do that right now. We can extort our subjects. Now, where are my loyal subjects? Cool. There's another 500 gold. And now... 79% chance. Okay, so granted Icta grant. Yikes. Helps contributing men at arms. Okay, we'll probably renegotiate that stuff later on. I'm not too concerned about that right now, to be honest. We have about five months until this sway scheme is done. And yeah, this county is as done as we're going to make it for the time being. We can go through and upgrade these later on, but for now our cache has higher priority locations. Two months now until our sway scheme is finished, allegedly. And that's great. Come on, sway scheme. Anytime now. Now it's saying three months. Well, we made a friend. This guy's at 85 opinion of us right now. And 78% chance of acceptance. Um, let's I mean let's emphasize those shared interests. He was convinced, and so now his opinion of us is maxed. It's not going to get any better than this 90% chance. Fingers crossed. Excellent. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to feudalize this tribe. We're going to instantly begin construction of quarries. We're also going to instantly begin construction of a city holding here. Then... We're going to grant it right back to this guy. That's all we wanted to do. That's literally the whole thing. <laughs> cool. So that is now underway, and we can get that built up in the next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.